All right, guys, what's going on? I'm back with another video, and today I want to talk about my retro gaming setup. And my retro gaming setup is a little bit different from most because I use old school televisions. I use the OCRTs um, to actually play my games on. And with my retro setup, I feel that there's no other way for the most part. Now, I do have a OSSC, which is a, a upscaler that upscales the games on a flat screen 4K or 1080p TV. And I use those sometimes if I want to capture or if I just if I just want to play something on that display. But most of the time I play on my old school stuff. And I want to give you a, a quick rundown of my setup and show you how it, I game when I just want to play a game just casually and, and just fall back. Now this side of my game room I have, I'm sitting on my couch. It's not the best looking couch. You know, I'm not going to go through all that. It's my little Lysol right there that I use to clean off my my screens, my computer screens or my, my, my television screens. So um, let, let's just get right into it. Now, if you see over here, I have my Genesis, my Super Nintendo, my uh, N64, one of my Sega Saturns and a, a PlayStation 1. And this is hooked up to my huge, I think this is like a 36 36 inch CRT this thing is a monster and it shows a beautiful picture a beautiful display when it comes to showing off old games now I use a few things to that are a little bit different than most but I'll get into that in a second but I want to show off the scan lines on this on this uh, TV this is a Sony this is Sony you see the front is kind of jacked up Sony Trinitron 36 inch and this is probably one of the best TVs you can get to play old school games on like you can see look at those scan lines on Cami and the other players uh, like I said I just think this is a fantastic looking uh, TV if you want to play games on now this game this this TV is not um, light this is a very heavy TV me and my brother-in-law actually got um, we got it up here fairly difficult it wasn't it wasn't easy even with the dolly it, it was really pretty hard to get up here but nevertheless we did it got we got it and i got it set up the way i want to i'm never moving it as far as i know uh, you know I, I mean if i do i'm just going to get somebody to do it but if you look look at those scan look how well this looks even with the flickering i know the flickering is kind of weird but you can see how well and how clean that looks I'm going to get to the other side. You can see the reflection of the rest of my stuff, all my games over there or whatever. But look how good this looks. I mean, it just looks beautiful. I love the way this looks. It's fantastic. And now I'm going to go over some over here. Over here I have my other Saturn and my um, one of my Dreamcasts. I just put those up there just to play around with, just to have that. I don't usually use those as much. But when I do, that, that's where they are. Now... Um, when I hook up my games to this TV, most people would think that I would use something like this. These are S video cables, or you would see something like composite cables. Now, I don't use those. Now, I use something that was real different. It was in Europe. I use SCART, and it looks like one of these. I know where the top of the TV is jacked up. But when you look at the SCART cable, um, it gives out a very high quality picture. Uh, and, um, and it might be a little bit overkill for a TV like this because I think you can get a pretty good image out of this S video. But I love using SCART. And I have, I use this and I convert it to component and the component cables go into the TV. But nevertheless, it, uh, like I said, it gives off a very clean picture. Once again, I have my Dreamcast and my Saturn. Don't mind everything in the back back there this is just a bunch of cords i need to do some cable management there's my dreamcast arcade stick i didn't talk about my other arcade sticks which is my saturn my playstation and i also have a sega genesis one it's a third party one but it's great i use it for my sega genesis that's up the, under there and also i have this which is a wireless genesis controller you know that's pretty neat i like that now my other this is not all now my other TV is also a, a, a CRT, old school television, but this one does high definition. It does 720p and 1080i. And on this one, I have NFL 2K5 running. 
It's one of my favorite football games. Sorry for the flicker. That's just how it is. It looks weird when you're running one of these TVs. But I have my PlayStation 2, which is right here. And I have another wireless controller for my PS2. Um, I have another uh, Dreamcast. I have a Wii. I have an uh, original Xbox, which is actually running my NFL 2K5. Now, and I have a GameCube right here. And like I said, I have a bunch of cables in the back. It looks very weird. Don't pay it no mind. This right here is a, a Nintendo AVS. Well, I ain't gonna say Nintendo A E A E S. It has um, super. It has regular Famicom and regular Nintendo. You can play games on it. Like if I open it, you'll see I have Ninja Gaiden in there. It has the old school plugs for the Nintendo. You actually use actual Nintendo. Um, your controllers for it, old Nintendo, and it actually still has the the old buttons from the old Nintendo. So, you know, uh, I want a regular Nintendo, but those things aren't really reliable, so I don't really use them as much. I didn't want to get one because they're not that well kept. But once again, this is NFL 2K5 running on this HD TV. Now, this TV here shows these games off very well beautiful looking image uh i know once i put this up on youtube and and with this camera that i'm using my phone it doesn't do it justice but trust and believe these little artifacts you see is is because of the the actual the way it's showing through the camera but when you see it in person it looks really good you don't see that craziness you would see if you hook one of these up to a flat screen I mean, like I said, these these games, like even the Wii, all of these are pretty much run 480p. And these TV, this TV is built for 480p, and the big TV over here is built for 480i and 240p. And these, I mean, the games look fantastic on it. Now, over here, these are my racing wheels. I have my racing wheels over here if I want to play a racing game. And I obviously over here have a good bit of my games. I still have another. Um, I still have another uh, bookshelf full of games, which I will probably show those off in my um, my current gaming setup. Because, like I said, this is my retro gaming setup when I play my CRT off my CR my CRT televisions. Um, so this is basically what I do when I play these. And you just look at this. I mean, it looks fantastic. These games look great on here. I love playing games off of these game off these uh, televisions, and it, it, it's just I, it's just my preference. It's just something I like to do when I want to kick back and chill. I sit on this couch and I just play these games, um, and you know, just get away from it all. You know, so um, to me, it's just something that I love to do. Uh, for, for furthermore, I have two computers behind me. I have uh, all my other newer consoles that's that's beyond the Nintendo Wii, the 360, the PS3, all that. I will show you that setup somewhere down the line. And I will also show you um, how I set up my PCs as well as far as how I game on those. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, that's my setup for the CRT, uh, old school CRT, the huge 36 inch. And um, that's my setup for the games. You see all those cords. Yeah, it looks terrible. Those are my overflow um, consoles, the other two Dreamcasts. A matter of fact, let me tell you. This uh, over here is uh, a American Saturn, and this over here is a Japanese Saturn. Now, this over here is a, a Japanese Dreamcast, and this over here is an American Dreamcast. So that's why I have more than one, in case if you're wondering. And... um. Yeah, so that's pretty much it with those. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know what you guys think. Maybe once I get everything together, I'll not only just show my modern side of my gaming, I'll probably do a whole gaming room setup or tour or whatever. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and um, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.